Whose turn's it tonight? Tucker. Where is your sweet little bro? You mean he isn't here yet? I knew that little puke was gonna be trouble. Don't worry. He's here. Uh, am I missing something? Tucker? Yeah. We're all set. What? You might feel safe with your doors and windows locked, but all someone has to do is dial your number. You answer the phone, and bingo, they're inside. But it's just their voice. Yeah, but when you pick up that phone, you made a connection. And it might be to a place that you don't want to be connected to. Do you have the pouch? We're all set. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story. Tale of the Phone. Hugo, what are you scared of? Hello? Yeah, uh, hello. This is the Acme Appliance Company. Is your refrigerator running? Yeah. You better run after it before it gets away. Lame, very lame. Listen and learn, my friend. And hello to you, ma'am. This is radio station KZIT, KZIT, and you have just been selected to be one of our lucky contestants. Now, to qualify for an all-expense-paid dream vacation, all you have to do is answer one easy question. Listen carefully. In centimeters, exactly how wide is Antarctica? You have 10 seconds. Come on, Jake, it's not funny. Hurry, ma'am. Don't let this once in a lifetime opportunity slip away. Oh, dear. I, I, I really don't know. You have four, three, two, one, and cut. <laughs> what are you doing? No, what are you doing? Making prank calls again? No, I was trying to get mom and dad. Look, pal. I'm in charge here while they're on vacation, so stop acting like a little wart. I can't believe you're letting him talk you into this stuff. You're not gonna tell Mom and Dad, are you? Forget Mom and Dad. You're gonna get tagged by the phone police, you zero. Phone police? What are the phone police? You're kidding, right? You've never heard of the phone police? Uh, no. Well, uh, the phone has certain rules of operation. You don't leave it off the hook, you don't let it ring too long, and you don't make stupid calls like my blunt little brother. She's making this up. You think so, eh? Well, keep messing with the phone and you'll end up like the Baxter kid. Who's the Baxter kid? 
Billy Baxter. Happened a long time ago. He was making prank calls, and the phone police got him. Oh, give me a break. It's true. They never saw him again. How do you know all this? <laughs> Everybody knows about the Baxter kid, except you, my vacant sibling. <laughs> you mess with the phone? The answer to the phone police. Want to make a call? I gotta go. Good thing one of you guys has some brains. <laughs> Chris, you don't believe that stuff, do you? It doesn't matter. It's no fun anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. Chris? Phone police? Yeah, right. Stupid. Billy Baxter? It's only got six numbers. This won't work. Hello? It must have been Annie pulling your chain. It was unplugged, Chris. How could you make it ring? I don't know. Maybe it was a dream. Can't be. So answer it. No way. You answer it. Hello? That guy last night, did he sound like this? Lose this. We gotta do something. Find out where this number comes from. There's only six numbers, and we thought it was foreign or something. It's not foreign. It's old and discontinued. It can't be. We just called it and got somebody. You called this number and got an answer? Well, sorta. It was more like static, but someone was there. Then they started calling me back. The records department is in the basement. They'll take care of you. Thanks.
Yeah? What can I do for you? The lady upstairs said you could tell us who has this number. Hmm. Let's see. We don't get very many of these nowadays. Come on back. Using the phone to tell a couple of jokes, eh? What? Just stand there, young fella. Take care of you. I don't know any Jake. We'll call the cops. Wait! Jake's your brother. What is with you? Look, I don't have any brother, okay? Now get out of here. You're not kidding, are you? No, I'm not kidding. I'll bean you. Hey! I'll prove it to you. This is Jake's bed room. Are you gonna get out of here or do I call the cops? The cops, yeah. Uh, you told us a story about the phone police and a kid named Billy Baxter. You know the story? Yeah, I know it. Except the way I heard it, they got a kid named O'Brien. A Jake O'Brien. Jake O'Brien? Oh, let me go! Let me go! Oh, get off! I don't do anything! I swear! Let's just don't go! Those guys work fast. Leave me alone, you crazy old... Jake, take it easy. It's me. Chris, get me out of here, man. This place is nuts. I didn't do anything wrong. You gotta help me. Whoa, calm down. Get Annie, get my parents. Uh, I can't do that, Jake. Why not? You gotta do something, or I'm gonna be stuck in here forever. Listen, this whole thing is weirder than you even know. I'm scared, Chris. Me too, but I got a plan. Maybe we can beat the phone police at the wrong game.
Answer the phone! Kid, I told you. Answer the phone! Answer the phone. Listen, kid. If you think you got it bad now, just you wait. That's it. I'll tell you something. After you got caught, I went to your house and... Ah! What's wrong with you guys? This is Jake. Annie, your brother. You gotta remember him now. Where do you get these friends from, Jake? Do you uh, order them from the back of comics? You remember him? You know who he is? Yeah. In fact, I'd like to forget him if I could. I don't 
believe this. Jake, your room's back to normal. What are you two yams talking about? Don't answer it! You two are losing it. Annie, don't! It's the phone police. Phone police? Airhead, I made that up. But it's true, they got me. Yeah, I wish. That was pizza. One jumbo, extra cheese, all dressed, hold the anchovies. Did you guys order pizza? No, oh, jeez, sorry. It's 238, not 328. Night. I can't believe you guys bought that story about the phone police. Talk about gullible. I'm gonna lie down. I'm exhausted. It did happen though, didn't it? Again. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, Tucker. Great story, Tucker. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed.